and welcome to today's show. I'm your host, Jeff from Brisbane, California, and today we are going to uh, interview Tammy and Reese from Escape Industries. And hey, Tammy, hi, Reese, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> That's it. That's the intro. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. You're, we're done. So, I haven't talked to you guys in, gosh, um, I think probably about six, eight months we did the last one, didn't we? It was a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you, you had the big move. You're in your new factory. How, how do you like it? How did it go? Okay, <laughs> Reese, that's, that's it. <laughs> it's, it's going. It's, uh, we still haven't moved the uh, fiberglass shop in yet, but uh, a little bit of bureaucratic hurdles we're trying to jump, but good. It's coming. So everything's in. <laughs> Almost. Can't, like I say, we're, we're waiting for the glass. We're half in. Oh, you're half in. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go. So Sorry. did it go, did it go as smoothly as you thought or was it, you know, a little bit harder? No, it went really smooth. Actually it was, um, we moved a day early because the sun was out. So, you know, most of the guys that work there have pickup trucks, so we had probably eight trucks, and then, what do we have, ten minutes from one shop to the other, if that, so instead of loading up hillbilly style, we just, every truck loaded a pallet and went, just we kind of rounded around. Hillbilly style. <laughs> that was bad. No, it was good, so two days of moving, and two days of unpacking, getting sorted, and we're back. Back to normal. So yeah, it went pretty smooth, actually. Oh, so what have you learned from this? You know, you ever, you ever want to move again? You know what I learned? You know those games that we played when we were kids? You know, you flip over the face and then you try and find the other matching face. Everybody <laughs> that works for me failed at that game because you know, hey, did you see this piece? Yeah, I saw it somewhere. Can't remember where, but that was the extent of about the first two weeks. Did anybody see this? Did anybody see that? Yeah. It's starting to get sorted out though now. It's, it's pretty good. Cool. So now, on, has it has it been, you know, did it increase your production or, you know, I mean, now you have bigger capacity, you have more lines to run uh, for the tr different trailers? Or? No, where, where we're at now is it's just given the guys more elbow room to work. I mean, a lot of, a lot of the just what everybody has seen our, our old facility. It's yeah, a lot of people did a tour through and saw the um, how we've expanded the old building, pieced it together as we've grown and and um, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. So so now it's so now it's a little more organized, a lot more room. You know where everything is, and kind of uh, these guys can work around it. No, it is. I think it's nicer because we have room, we've added like just those couple extra bays where we're finishing stuff outside, we can now finish inside. We were able to add a service bay and right now that service bay is a place that also offers us, I mean how many of our customers had to hook up to their trailer in the rain, right? Go through mm -hmm. the orientation. Yeah. Thing. We can do all that inside now. So it's it's offered us a lot more space, elbow room, we're not working over top of people. You actually can work with someone rather than you get that done so I can get my stuff done. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably nice because when, I remember when we picked it up, it was raining. There was like cats and dogs and you know, and it, this year, I don't know how it's been for you guys, but for us, it's been like the wettest, thing, wettest season probably what? 20 years or you know it's been really wet and cold and stuff so I'm sure it impacts you guys as well it, yeah no definitely we're low cooler than normal no we were just hooking up a fifth wheel the other day and everything was inside and it was a thunderstorm going by a thunder lightning and it was just hail and pouring and we just looked outside and smiled at each other and the customers were wondering why we were so happy <laughs> and it was just kind of like <laughs> they just don't understand the old days <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, speaking of uh, production, how many trailers are you making this year by you know the, the different types? Would you say? In total? Yeah, you're doing like sixty per line, sixty per. 
I don't know if you have a breakdown. I don't have a breakdown yet of that. What I did this year for the production schedule was that I um, I based it off last year. So I believe I've got 45-19s, 45-17s, and, um, and then we narrowed down like the 15s and the fifth wheels a little bit and the 13s based on last year. But that's also shuffled a little bit because if someone wanted a date and maybe it was right on the cusp of a 17 and a 19, I could swap it. So it's altered, so I don't, I just know how many we're going to make this year by the end of the year. Yeah. So now, um, what's the lag time between someone's ordering, say, like a 19 foot, say if I ordered it today, how, how long does it take to build it now? Um... Two weeks. Two weeks? You're smiling. I don't think it's two weeks. Is it two weeks? No. No, we're at that point right now, which we do seem to be at every time this year, is our summer fills up. And if you can't get one right now, well, then we'll, we'll sit on the fence a little while longer. So, you know, I think we're sold through into September. There's three dates left in September. So that kind of sits stagnant for a little while until those people that want to get on the road after everybody else gets home, those people start picking up those kind of dates. And But we see a little bit of a stall this time of the year all the time. It's nice. I can catch up. You can catch up. So <laughs> so, the, so the next open slots are in September for yeah. ordering. So if they order today, they can start, to start it in September? Um, no, if Finished in September, ready wow. for pickup. Um, I think that's two 19s and one fifth wheel left for September. Everything else is into October. Wow. That's really so, good. Yeah. And then we'll be posting next year's production schedule. That'll go up online probably the end of August, early September. And we've already got people speaking for months. Like, I... I haven't, I've told them I can't promise them a date, but they've told me they want maybe a, a 19 foot in April. So their name's gone in for next year already for April. Wow. So did, did you guys increase the number of employees or did you just kind of stay the same? Just stay the same. No. Just give everybody a little more room to work. No. Okay. And, and, then, and their benefit is, like you say, having the fiberglass shop on site that will just give us a little better control <clears throat> instead of running back and forth all the time, but um, more efficient and then just becoming a little more efficient will help us increase a little bit rather than just throwing more bodies at the problem. Right. Right. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, if you hold on a second, I think we have a question from the audience here. Hold on. Uh, I hate Glenn. <laughs> Glenn wanted... <laughs> Glenn wanted to know if you're going to make a 21 foot um, tra trailer so I can trade in my motorhome and get a new trailer. <laughs> oh, just for you. Just yeah, for you. exactly. Yeah, that'll be. Yeah, you have to wait about um, wait another six months because that's our that's our what we're running right about now every year or so. <laughs> um, now I noticed that you uh, you're starting to um, do maintenance on other trailers as well. Right? Is that, did I see that correctly? Yeah, part of the new shop was we were able to have a service service base. So um, other fiberglass trailers. We don't want to get into the, uh, the stick stick built market. Um, any anything fiberglass, like Casitas, Olivers, or you know Scamps or whatever. I don't want to say uh, unlimited repairs, but I mean you know certainly. Um, well, I've read on another forum, uh, I can't remember the name of the trailer company, the new, there's a new trailer company coming up, um, Little Snoozy, um, they've offered, they threw out the, the comment that um, they would offer to, to look after any, any fiberglass trailers that are in their area, and I just, you know, reciprocate that offer. Oh, that's nice. Plus, you know, a lot of the components are the same, so... You know. Well, I mean, to be, yeah, I mean, realistically, we're all kind of built the same kind of idea. So, I mean, you know, if it's a little bit different, I mean, 
usually somebody in this in this field can can repair or look after stuff like that a lot better than your typical RV center. So a lot of them don't want to touch the old trailers. So that's you know we turned a lot of work away at the old shop because we just we couldn't even work on our own trailer. So um, we turned a lot of our own trailer service away. So so that was a big thing with the move is to make sure we had had room for for that kind of stuff. No, now. Uh, is there any other services you you guys are going to start doing, or um, you know, uh, new products that you're going to roll out, or anything like that? Any anything you're selling new? Um, we, uh, I don't think it's up yet. We're working on getting an accessories page on the yeah. on the website. So because we brought in this year, we brought in some mats for you know for under the awning, uh, some step rugs. Water. Water filters. What else? I don't know. Just some little knickknacky things that well, you know. Yeah. You're probably gonna pick up. Um, it's I. I hate the point of sale. Sale of hey, would you like fries with your burger today? I, I'm not that type of salesperson. I would prefer to, you know, while you're looking at the trailer, or whatever, and can see these other things that you can get with it, and you just kind of make it a package deal. That's what we're shooting for. And right. Pricing wise, we're all in, you know it's in the same boat. So um, you know, one stop shop on some of those items that we have found that we ourselves found useful that aren't right. Picky. Yeah. Well, kind of like your your you have that starter package that gives the wheel chocks and all that other stuff, you know. So and if a lot of a lot of people like are just coming up driving up, they don't have anything, you know. It'd be, it's kind of good for them to pick it all up in one kind of place, and so they don't have to go all these other little places while they're testing out the trailer. So that's a good idea, actually. And sometimes too, I think when you when you get the trailer, you think you've got everything, and then you realize you forgot it. So it's nice to be able to just pick it up without you know running to Canadian Tire, running to Walmart. Right. Well, you're doing on on your site or this site too. You're you're doing the. Uh, Product reviews. The product reviews. I mean, it's kind of like you know, there's you know, we found a water filter that works good, so you know, we've recommended it to a couple people, and, and you know, they just they take your word for it because you know, again, we're we're out there too using it, and, and we've had some pretty crummy water, and this works. So you know, rather than reading the the box, you're taking somebody's word for it. So it you know. You know, we figured we'll just get a bunch of those and see how they sell. If they don't sell, great. If they don't. Yeah. Great. <laughs> we got a bunch of filters. <laughs> It'll be a big sale, escape sale. <laughs> we'll be ready. For <laughs> so you know, your cargo box—that was a huge hit, wasn't it? I mean, you, a lot of people wanted to kind of retrofit and kind of come up and put that in there. And I bet you most of those orders now on a 19 foot and 17 foot come with the cargo box now, right? Yeah, a lot of it's it's popular. It's more popular than I thought it would be. I mean, the price didn't come out where I wanted it to be or thought it would. But um, and I thought with the price where it is, um, that that would turn a lot of people off. And and um, I just think the practicality of it um, is actually what's selling it. So um, it's not a it's not a great um, shall we say a money maker for us. It's more of a convenience for the customer. Right. But it's, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's a, I mean, if, if you had it when we originally bought ours, we would have definitely gotten it because it's, you know, space is at a premium and all the stuff that you can stick in there, you know, is just probably, it's, it's probably well worth it. It's well worth the money. And, uh, you know, I could see where everyone would want it, you know, and actually when they come up, you know, for the rally, they'll probably swing on by and pick one up. I'll keep that in mind that we'll have to build a new one for the 21 foot. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, so the like now. Speaking of, you know, the different. Are you changing anything else? It's in the trailers. Are you making them, you know, the interior different? Are you uh, making them wider or anything like that? With the, is, I, is pretty much that's it. You you got it all on your, you know, that's it's set up. Well, I mean, we're always looking for new ideas, but I haven't found anything too much. I mean, you know, it seems to get stale after a while of building the same thing, but. You know, we've talked about some ideas, and you start changing up. But next thing you know, someone ordered three, four months ago, and they go, "Well, that's not what I ordered." You know, we it, that's tough to right, 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 and implement that. And um, 
Nah, uh, like you say, I think so far so good. We're listening to the customers and seem to be uh, answering the call. So I can't please everybody, but I think so far, so far, I think we've. What? Am I missing anything? <laughs> she's the one that gets most emails. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She takes. Yeah, she's the doing all the customization stuff. But yeah. Um, now, Sherry's can do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, what the heck? So um, now the rally's coming up in uh, June fourth. Is that it? June third. June third for three days. Uh, days. Yeah, we'll be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, so we are um, this year we're at the Nikmik Campground, which is in a Soyuz. Um, we're just the far side. It's I've never been to this campground. Uh, it's just been recommended to us by quite a few customers. After last year's rally, we literally took over the entire campsite. And so to find another campground that offered, uh, you know, 50 sites and was willing to allow us to come in and take over all 50 sites, um, we found that most campgrounds aren't that big. So right. this campground is actually quite large and we're only booking maybe I would say maybe a third of it, or not even, you know, a quarter or anything. And so right now, I believe there's 12 sites left. Um, 12, site, 12 sites left. So I've been updating almost daily on the fiberglass, on the skate form there, and um, updating the attendees. Sorry. I've that's, been me, updating. that's me calling you. <laughs> I've been updating the attendees and as well as uh, people bringing stuff for the potluck dinner. And so Friday night, we're going to do a meet and greet. Uh, Aaron last year printed off all the placards that went in front of the campsite. So she's going to do that again. We'll do up some name tags. And then on Saturday in the morning, everyone's kind of going to go off. I mean, the campground offers, I've looked at a couple of brochures and they offer things such as, um, they offer some things such as uh, a winery. <laughs> Let's just say that again, a winery. <laughs> a winery, yeah. yeah a winery. <laughs> There's a winery on site. There's horseback riding. We're right on the lake, so I know a few of the people have already talked to going kayaking and fishing. And um, there's also a spa. Um, there's an orchard nearby. So lots of stuff to go and do. There's a golf course right there. Or you could just sit in your trailer and drink beer. What <laughs> was it last year that you got? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I think I think last year you, you were the busiest guy at the campground. You were walking around doing little uh, kind of repairs and stuff to everyone's thing. Yeah, I bet mean, there was a bonus with that. Everybody was saying, hey, have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> last, last year was the first time I had gin and tonic. Ah, that's what it was. Uh, I was, yeah. I was that was Who was that? That was Bruce. Bruce gave Reese gin and tonic, and Reese came back to the campsite just grinning, and his teeth were all numb. He's like, "Damn, <laughs> you gotta try this." And I was like, "No, I'm not trying." Yeah, at that point, I had to quit working on trailers. <laughs> yeah. You're doing more damage than good. Yeah. So, are you gonna do like a little workshop again? Like, like last year, you showed how to, I think, replace the brakes. So, you can do anything similar, or just kind of a uh, wing it. Well, no, because this year we'll do all that for you at the at the shop, right? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, come on in. We'll just schedule appointments. <laughs> you two are slow on that one. I didn't know. I wasn't thinking. I'm like, what am I thinking? Yeah, a little slow. So, so, so there's twelve re there's twelve reservations open for the. All right. So how many people have registered? Would you say? Um, well, if there's 12 open, we're at about 38, but we also have a few people who are coming up and staying in a local hotel, and then they're just going to stay at the hotel and come out and participate in the day activities, wander through. They're, you know, they just want to kind of join the rally, but they don't have a trailer yet. Yeah. yeah so, they, so you're going to scare them off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> are you coming up this year? Uh, no, because we're going to do the Alaska trip, so we're going to skirt that up. You know, we're going to be by, we're actually be in Vancouver when you guys are having your, um, uh, Vancouver Island when you guys are doing your trip. No, actually, no. What am I thinking? I'm looking at my, at Leanne over here. Uh, I think we leave on, like, the 
second of June or something. So we're going to take a, a week to get all the way up there. So, uh, yeah, whatever. We don't. No, we're not going this year. It didn't work out. But one thing for sure is going to work out is the. Um, I have a question now. What is what is a Canuck? What is a Canuck? A Canuck is what beats a San Jose. Uh, sure. <laughs> sure. You knew that's where I was going, right, didn't you? <laughs> now, did you watch the game? Oh yeah. Ah, so it was closer than you thought. You were worried, weren't you? When hockey starts in the house, Reese shuts down. We all have to be quiet, you know. It's kind of like go to your rooms because he takes over the living room. Yeah. See, he picks what's, and screams. <laughs> what's going to happen is next time they're not going to sit on that lead, and that's what happened. They 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 blew it because you know they didn't they didn't have that. They just they're trying to protect the goal lead, and they lost it. So this next game will be very interesting. We'll see what yeah. happens. Goalie learns to play goal instead of defenseman. <laughs> it would have been three one, Jeff, just as I predicted. If Luongo would have stayed in the net when he was supposed to. Oh, you mean when he was just like handing the the puck off the Thornton, and he just made that great shot under, underneath? That was a great shot too. He just went boom. Did you see Thornton? No, even he didn't cheer that much for that goal because he just didn't know it was a gimme. It was still. <laughs> I mean, it, it was still a tough it, shot. For you and me, it was. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll be uh, I will be playing any hockey. I'm just amazed that you know they they when they get knocked down on the ice, they're up in like a fraction of a second. It would take me five minutes to get back up my knee, you know on the skates or something. It's like uh, these guys are just way too good, and you know they're just hitting those guys on the board, it's amazing, man. I would not survive. They would break my legs. They'd break, my, they'd break me in half, basically. They're 28, right? Remember that. A lot of them are 28, 27, yeah. right? They're not yeah. over 40 yet. <laughs> well, that one guy for the Detroit, I forgot his name. He was in, he was in his upper 30s. I forgot his, the guy's name. Lindstrom? Lindstrom? He was pretty... He's beaten up, played a long time. But anyways, yeah, I'm I'm still I'm still up on the the Sharks. You know, this is going to be their year. They look pretty good, so we'll see what happens. So I'm going to see if there's any more questions from the audience. There are no more questions. So you, is there anything you'd like to any parting comments you'd like to give uh, fellow escapees something to look forward to? Any? I think um, just parting word or not parting words, but we do have a few trailer owners in Sylvan Lake, Alberta right now. And I just hope that they're okay and made it out safely. So that would be something that, you know, for those owners in Alberta, we, we hope everyone's all right. What's in um, Sylvan Lake, a forest fire came into town yesterday afternoon and burned down over 50% of it within a very short amount of time. Wow. Um, yeah, so most of the town is gone, and it's been top of the national, or not national news, but it's been a lot on the news today. So yeah. those owners in Alberta, in Sylvan Lake, you know, we're thinking of them. There's three of them there. So thinking about them today and, and hoping everyone's all right. Yeah, I'm, so yeah I, hope, I hope everything is fine. And maybe three new ones going there. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be living, they might be living in an escape, you know, for a little bit until they're... Whatever. So, anyways, thank you so much for the interview. Um, uh, we'll say uh, I'll have this up on the web in probably you know half an hour if you want to check it out. So, thank you for doing the interview, and we'll see you guys uh, on the highway. All right. All right. Thanks so much Thanks. for doing it. And, yeah. and oh, oh, also, thank you for spo the sponsorship. That was a wonderful thing. That was really good. Thank you for that. That was that was thank great. Thanks for all you do. <laughs> I don't I don't do anything. All right, guys. Have a safe trip. Michelle, you too. Take care. Okay, bye.